The EV trend is one that lots of car manufacturing firms are getting used to. However, not every auto firm is comfortable with this trend. This is quite a fact. But just when it was beginning to look like these auto firms did not have a choice, Jeep came up with a new engine that might put a permanent end to the EV trend. Jeep CEO has never been a believer in the increasing trend of EVs, and he has finally been able to back his word with action. Jeep has built a compressed air engine that can best be described as an engine for the future. This engine is a major relief to auto firms all over the world. But beyond bringing much-needed relief, it has also shocked the auto industry, as not many people thought a day would come when they would be able to use combustion engines without worrying about causing any pollution. Folks who have not been keeping up with the EV trend might not know the importance of this technology. On the other hand, if you understand the EV push and how EVs have been anointed to replace combustion engines, you might understand how important this new engine is. This new engine is fuel efficient and is coming onto the scene at a time when combustion engines have their days numbered. You see, everyone around you might be driving a combustion engine. However, there is a limit to how long they will be driving this engine because there is an impending ban on them. With the ban on combustion engines comes a simultaneous push of EVs into the market. As much as there might be no problem with the existence of EVs, there is a problem with the fact that authorities seem to be forcing people to buy them. Before the arrival of a compressed air engine, the average person had no choice but to try getting an EV. However, with the arrival of a combustion engine, the mandate to buy an EV is not as strong. The idea of the compressed air engine coming up at a time like this is great. However, it is associated with lots of questions. Some of these questions are, how much will this engine cost and how far will it go in the auto industry? We will go on to provide answers to these questions in a moment. In the meantime, kindly like and share this video. Also, subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this. Moving on, combustion engines have a reputation for not being good for the environment, and car manufacturing firms know this. And in a bid to keep the atmosphere free from pollution, they have tried coming up with other engines. That was how EVs were born. When they were fresh on the scene, EVs looked like they would get the job done. But right now, it is clear that they are not as great as many people anticipated. This was a problem for a moment. However, it doesn't seem like it will be one any longer. Jeep has taken a step the other auto firms couldn't take. They have put out an engine that uses compressed air and patrol. So in essence, this new engine is a hybrid. The combination of compressed air and gasoline might seem tricky. However, it is as efficient as an engine can get and if you are trying to get the best out of a car without spending so much, this is perhaps the engine you have been looking for. There is a lot about this engine that makes it stand out. However, one special thing it comes with is that it is a blend of a hydraulic system, a low-pressure tank, and a compressed air tank. This new engine is not yet on the market, but when it finally gets out, it could mark the end of EVs. There are various reasons for this. However, one key reason is that it is as powerful as combustion engines. However, unlike combustion engines, it is not quick to push carbon dioxide into the air. Its carbon dioxide emissions are 95% less than those of combustion engines. The world might just be learning about compressed air engines. However, they are not as new as you might have imagined. They have been around for about a decade and were first seen in the Stellantis PU-0398. Before the discovery of this new compressed air engine, the world was almost completely tilted towards EVs. Also, it seemed like EVs were on the scene to save the day. But the Jeep CEO never bought the idea. He doesn't believe in the EV revolution. Other car manufacturers might have seen EVs as a needed change. But Jeep CEO believes that they are just not good enough to replace combustion engines. Combustion engines have their challenges and it is obvious what these challenges are. But that's not all that's obvious. Another obvious fact is that EVs are ending one problem but starting another. You see, EVs are clean and might not be associated with pollution. However, they need to be built for materials that aren't quite readily available. It is impossible to build EV batteries without using lithium. It doesn't seem like there is any challenge associated with this. There is a degree of scarcity around lithium. 
although some folks have argued about this material being available. Even if it is as available as some folks might believe, getting it might not be very easy. Now you might never pick a car that pollutes the environment over one that is made from materials that are not as available. But for how long will the scarce materials used in building EVs be available? There might not be a time frame for this. However, with time, there will be an increase in sourcing for materials needed to build EVs. If at this point, you still haven't spotted the challenge, there is a likelihood that you do not understand the logistical issues that could arise from replacing a system that has been proven to work seamlessly with one that is still being tested and seems to be failing several tests. The logistical issues associated with the EV trend are a major challenge, but that's not the only challenge. There is also the challenge of price. So far, EVs have proven to be unreliable. Nonetheless, they are a lot more expensive than combustion engines. Generally, when buying two cars with similar features, you would spend about 40% more on the EV. This is probably not a big deal to folks who have all the funds in the world. Sadly, we can't say the same about folks who can barely afford to buy a car. And if you think the price of EVs is already high, you may have no idea how bad things can be. You see, there is a proposed ban on combustion engines. Hopefully, this ban doesn't see the light of day. But if it can come to fruition, the price of EVs will increase even more. The reason for this is that there will be an overwhelming demand for EVs. And if you understand the law of demand and supply, you do not need anyone to tell you that prices will increase even more. The price tag attached to EVs is just bad news for regular people. However, there is an argument that the production cost for EVs is high, and this is one reason they are expensive. The high cost of producing EVs might be a fact. However, that's not enough reason to make the public pay so much for them. If the average person has to suffer because of the cost of producing EVs, then maybe it is not as good a technology as we think. In addition to EV technology not being as affordable, there are lots of policies around EVs that are just not good for the automobile industry. These policies include a mandate to produce a certain number of EVs or pay a fine, as well as the provision of tax incentives to firms in the US. Since there is a fine attached to not selling as many EVs, various car manufacturing firms have had to reduce the price at which they sell their EVs. This might seem smart, but it has led to losses. To avoid going bankrupt, these firms have had to use the gains made for combustion engines to make up for the loss of EVs. All these flaws in EVs are enough to push them out completely. However, there is one more. Unlike combustion engines, EVs generally come with luxury features. This may look great. However, festivals that should be chosen by folks who are ready to pay something extra are the basics of EVs. Going by this, folks who can't afford to pay for luxury features might just have to forget about driving. EVs might be a menace to the auto industry, but this is for a short while. We expect compressed air engines to take over. They are not out yet, so we might have to do some waiting. Well, when they eventually get out, they will be worth the wait. That's as much as we can take today. See you in the next video.